How important is CO2? Very important. You want your CO2 level to be 1,500 parts per million in the room. Now, some guys are running as high as 2,000 parts per million. That's your own personal choice. However, I like 1,500 parts per million. It seems to work extremely well. And the higher you go in parts per million, uh, CO2, as it's burning off either propane or natural gas, is putting a large amount of water into the air. Uh, so you want, that means your humidity is going to rise. So you want your CO2 just to be exactly where it is, uh, unless you've got really great uh, dehumidifying equipment and stuff, and, and then you want to raise it up. But all the reports, everything that's ever been done says 1,500 parts per million is optimum. In normal air, there's around 350 parts per million. So if you don't have CO2, and uh, you're going to need good ventilation in a room. You want, you're going to want lots of airflow. Why? Because that 350 parts per million gets depleted very quickly. So you have to have one or the other. Either really good ventilation, or you got to have a CO2 machine. Benefits of the CO2 machine, you can totally seal off your room. You don't need any outside air coming in at all. For security, this is a very good thing. Even though you're growing medical marijuana, there's still thieves out there who are going to want to steal it. And you want to keep the smell down, if at all possible. Now, in, this, in, in Steve's particular room, we put in a, a nice uh, enriched air CO2 unit. It's made by Polar Bear Manufacturing. Uh, this particular unit has eight burners and is equivalent of a CD36 made by Green Air. Uh, what else I like about this unit is it has no pilot light. A lot of the, the units that are out there that are made by other companies have a pilot light. The problem is you're continually burning either propane or natural gas when you don't need to. Uh, this, ex this system is a little more expensive to uh, install, but uh, it's to purchase, but it's well worth it because it only ignites uh, when you need uh, your CO2. Uh, this particular unit is good for a million lights. It's made by Honeywell, the ignition system. Very good, very good system. And the, the, the place from the monitor, you want it as far away from your CO2 makers uh, as you possibly can. Now these guys set up the room, uh, they put it a little bit too close. However, the fan is up there and it blows very, very, uh, very circulates the air very good, so I'm not too concerned about that. But in most instances, you're going to want this uh, monitoring system to the farthest point in your room because you want to make sure in the farthest corner of your room you have CO, you have 1,500 parts per million of CO2. If you have two rooms, what you can do is you can have your heat exchanger in one room with your CO2, and if you can move enough volume of air between the two rooms, you don't need uh, two cooling units and two CO2 units. You just, while one room's on, the, the 1,500 parts per million air is circulating through, and vice versa uh, in the evening. In fact, plants give off CO2 at night, so the one room on the other side is actually, uh, you get to utilize the CO2, that is uh, being made. And let me uh, bring up another thing about CO2. When you have, if you have a room that just has a, doesn't doesn't have a split, like I just explained to you, make sure your CO2 unit comes on half an hour after the lights come on. This is important because plants get off CO2 at night; it builds up the CO2 level. As soon as the lights come on, you want those plants to start utilizing the CO2 that's already in the room. You don't need to make CO2. In fact, you want the plants to sense that there's a CO2 drop and then start your CO2. Same thing in the evening. Half an hour before your lights go, go off, CO2 goes off. Let those plants use up with the CO2 uh, that's, that's naturally there. Anyways, uh, in this particular, this particular unit is a 2800 CFM fan. It has two speeds, a low, and a high. And it helps circulate there from one room to the next. No light can get through here because of the box. If we just use a, if we just use a normal fan, if we were going to just use a normal uh, squirrel cage fan, light would get through. But by putting it in a box, you don't get any of that light going through, and it doesn't affect the uh, flowering cycle in either of the rooms.